I thought we were done. Really, I thought it was over. I thought migration was just gonna be a normal thing. I thought the news had passed and I wasn't gonna have to cover this for another year if I even covered it at all. Keep in mind, migration finished rolling out just a few months ago, which means it was over half a year late. So based on the leaked dates we got last year, it should have lasted into the end of this year, maybe 2023 even, if it went at the same pace. And yet, today, February 4th of 2022, we received the news that next month, Minecraft will require you to migrate to Microsoft or you will lose access to the game. On top of that, there's even a rumor that Mojang will be dropping the usernames of millions of unmigrated accounts, including thousands upon thousands of OG usernames. So for today's episode of Minecraft Uncovered, let's talk about that. So forced migration, huh? That's kind of a big deal. In pretty much every migration video I have ever made, the comments have been flooded with people quite reasonably griping about migration and the idea that they're being forced to move to Microsoft, which a lot of people want as little to do with as possible. I can't blame them, Microsoft accounts have had some pretty terrible security that I've seen firsthand, and I'm not psyched at all to have my accounts tied to their platform, but what can I do, right? The only thing is, I really expected to have a bit more time. I mean, the original migration from 2012 lasted all the way until late 2020, and you're telling me we get about a tenth of the time for, what, five times the accounts? That's pretty hopeful of Mojang, and according to NameMC, which, mind you, is probably quite a bit less than the actual number, less than one out of over 40 million registered Java accounts have been migrated. Between the hundreds of people I've seen that for some reason haven't been invited to migrate, and the thousands I've seen that lost an email or password to their account and are now basically doomed, the worst possible thing for Mojang to do for them is end migration early. And yet, that's exactly what seems to be happening. On February 4th, a new article was posted to the Minecraft website. Last call to voluntarily migrate Java accounts. Starting March 10, you'll need a Microsoft account to play Java. I won't read the whole article, but I'll leave it on screen in case you want to. According to them, March 10 will restrict Minecraft to only migrated accounts. In their words, to ensure that everyone is playing using accounts with improved security and player safety. I get the intention, but if we're talking security, this is not the way to do it. Yeah, 2FA is nice, but Microsoft has the worst email, account, whatever you call it, service I have ever seen. If this was Google, it would be awesome. If it was iCloud, it would be good. I'd take Yahoo. I'd even take AOL over this, and they haven't been relevant since the Ottoman Empire. They're near prehistoric and they are still better from everything I've seen. So yeah, I'm not too happy about this and I don't think really anybody is, but there are some upsides to this, the biggest one being that the alt hacking meta of Minecraft is basically dead. We've already seen Hypixel implement mandatory migration in a few of their more competitive game modes like Ranked Skywars and UHC, and while it hasn't been perfect, I'd recommend Doomed Cows videos if you're curious to see how that turned out, a lot of major blatant hackers have just disappeared, and the game modes are a lot more playable now as a result. When Mojang forces migration for everyone, then every game mode on every server is going to reap the benefits of 99% of these stolen hacking alts disappearing for good. The only exception would be cracked Minecraft servers, which are a very interesting case that I would love to cover in the future, but we'll have to see. So while generally I'm very against migration, at least it isn't all bad. Now just to do my due diligence as a wannabe Minecraft news anchor, I will encourage you to get migrated, because as much as I dislike this change, it's not worth losing access to your account over unless you are really very strongly against it, in which case you probably would have stopped playing over a year ago when it was first announced. Everyone should be able to migrate through an easy step-by-step -step guide on the website and in the Minecraft launcher, but I did get a few reports of players struggling to migrate at all, so in that case, you'll probably want to contact support since I have no idea why that might be. It should be available to everyone at this point, but since Mojang is Mojang, nothing is ever going to work out smoothly, so I can't say I didn't expect something like this. Either way though, do your best to get migrated. Either way though, do your best to get migrated or you may be forced to face the consequences. But what are the consequences? What if you don't migrate? Of course you lose access to your account, but what happens to it? Well, if recent rumors have any sort of truth to them, the Minecraft community is about to go crazy. I just got confirmation. Any unmigrated accounts will have their usernames open for anyone to grab, as the original accounts will be purged. 
This was a Discord message from none other than Billy K, the one and only Turtle Cape owner and actually the inventor of turtles in real life, believe it or not. Now, before you start flipping desks and doing the polka out of pure childlike joy, please recognize that as of yet, this is not actually confirmed. Ined said on Twitter that this won't be happening, at least not yet, but Mojang are also as indecisive as Kanye West dropping new music, so I trust nobody anymore. Jeb himself could pay me a visit and throw the migration plans at me, and I'd just sigh and laugh, cause yeah, I'll believe it when I see it, pizza boy. But while this seemed impossible to me at the start of migration, am I really surprised anymore? No. It sounds stupid, it's a really complicated thing to do, and not a very smart idea in my opinion, but I mean, just look how they handled all those names that got blocked from migration. They just dropped them all after giving people some time to take them back, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, watch my API video. They've given us time to migrate now, maybe not enough, but it's been nearly a year and I would not be surprised if that's exactly what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be true that they are dropping unmigrated names, but if they purge like 40 million Minecraft usernames in a month, I would be astounded. What I think will probably happen is that there's going to be at least a few months, if not a few years, for players to migrate and save their account. And after that, accounts will basically be put into a state of hibernation. They'll still keep the accounts registered to your email, but usernames, realm subscriptions, player data, skins, all of that will be gone forever. But if and when this does happen, what will that mean for the Minecraft community? Well, obviously the first thing that comes to mind, at least for me, is OG names. If you're coming from outside of the account community and think I'm speaking another language, allow me to explain. OG names or original names are usernames, usually on a gaming or social media platform that are considered highly desirable. They tend to be either really common words or real names without any numbers, symbols, and so on. For example, my account Aiden would be an OG name. Now, in Minecraft and most other big platforms, there are these underground or occasionally public marketplaces for buying, selling, and trading these names around. Minecraft is one of the biggest markets around whatsoever, with tens of thousands of accounts passing through it and recent sales for upwards of 50 grand. So, with the prospect of 40 million accounts having their names removed, including many, many, many OG names, you can imagine this would be a pretty big deal. I think overall though, it would probably be quite a positive thing. It would drive prices down, like, a lot. Don't expect any 50k sales when the amount of available OGs just, like, septupled. But that would also mean way more accounts being traded around, and they would be clean accounts too. Mojang would mostly solve the problem of accounts being hacked, or stolen, or scammed, or social engineered for the market at the cost of, well, a bigger market that they don't really support. But even outside of the market, it would mean a lot of actually active players getting their dream names. Not just, you know, a guy named Matt getting the account Matt, but there are tons of cases where somebody had a username before you and you'd have to go for some substitute. That ugly underscore at the end of your name could disappear, or that A you changed to an X because the original was taken can be fixed. While it's a wild idea that will probably cause more stress to Mojang than good to anybody, it will be a pretty incredible thing to witness. That is, if it ever comes to life. Hope you all enjoyed the video, I really truly did not expect another migration video to come anytime soon, but Mojang will just not let me rest at all. Not much else to say, but I want to say huge thanks for all the support on the last video, it did and is doing insanely well, and the fact that the oldest skin went from 0 views on NameMC to over 400 in less than 2 weeks is wild, so I'm super happy you all enjoyed the video. Also, if you'd like, come check out my Discord server, I'm trying to promote it a bit more since I keep forgetting to talk about it, but we've got like a thousand members, tons of memes and research and mini games and more to keep you entertained, plus it's a great way to keep up with not only new videos but also streams, collabs with other YouTubers, updates on big projects, or you could even vote for the videos you want to see. But yeah, that's about it, so thank you all for watching and have a good one guys. Peace peace.